Well, we've just come back from Cape York. The buggy's had a big clean up, but I just really wanted to run you through everything that's been done to this buggy. It's pretty cool. Now this is Rick's own buggy. So it's a Defender 1000. So there's nothing to sneeze at for power. It's got plenty of it but he's sort of prepared it pretty well with a lot of go gear. So he's got side bars on it. He's got rails on the side here. He's got the bull bar, of course. And of course, the magic of the Sherpa four and a half thousand pound winch down in there. Now that, I hope, makes it to an app because we actually get it into use pulling out another vehicle. So it was pretty cool with two of them. Now it's got the Genesis Light Force lights which absolutely work an absolute treat. You know, when you put these lights on, the standard ones, they look like candles until you put the Genesis on. Absolutely amazing. And of course, underneath, he put full body armor, even on the wishbones. It's all aluminum plated underneath. So for all the rocks and the sliding and over logs and all that sort of stuff. Now on mine, it's plastic. So you can actually see where I've really banged it up underneath. He's just got skid marks on his, it's pretty cool. In the back, we got the Mini Max tracks, which are great for the buggies. Of course, we didn't have to use them. These buggies sort of go anywhere, but it's super handy just in case you need them. That's mounted on the toolbox. We've got the Expedition box there, which is carrying recovery gear. We actually had a second one on top when we're up in the Cape because there's just so many uses for them and carrying storage, and we went away and we threw our swags on here uh, where we couldn't take the trucks. So we took the Oztent swags, put them up there, put a couple of chairs in the back so we were and i think we had all sorts of gear food and all sorts of stuff in the in the expedition boxes adding to that we run the rock 10 lights that are up here for reversing um, and setting up camp when we went individuals then we got the 47 liter evercool um, now that's running off the power system in the back here now no point in me trying to explain that so i'm going to put you straight over to craig and he'll tell you all about that Hey guys, Craig from Solar Sat. Today we've been working on the Explorer and off the grid can -Am. So today we've put a holy for Victron gear inside the, uh, the back here. We've got a 60 amp hour battery, 18 amp uh, DC to DC charger, which hooks up to the battery underneath the seat here to charge that accessory battery and to power up that ever cool fridge on the back here for the guys. So we've also got four USB ports and a cigarette port inside and a Victron shunt monitor to monitor the battery levels during while they're out in the, on the tracks. So we've also anchored everything down here in the box and we've also anchored down the fridge just so nothing comes off the back while they're um, on the tracks. Just to give you a little show. She ain't going nowhere. Time to get out to the guys so they can go exploring off the grid. See you later. So make sure you check out Exploring Off The Grid on YouTube for our next adventure.